today's uh, Sunday bonus video, uh, we're going to take a look back at a product that I featured on this channel way back in 2022. Can you believe we've been doing this that long? And uh, yeah, I always say in my videos, at the end of the videos, if anything happens to a product that I feature on my channel, if it fails prematurely for any reason, we'll take a take a look back at it. And uh, yeah, that's what brings us to this here, M12 uh, model 2488-20. Soldering iron. Uh, when I first did the video on this one, I was kind of, kind of, yeah, on it. I, form factor I thought was just kind of big and bulky. wasn't wasn't one hundred percent sold on it, but uh, function wise, it, it worked pretty good. I've used this moderately. I actually have a different soldering iron that I, I like to use better. But yeah, I, I think about a month ago, I went to pull this thing out of the old uh, package there, and uh, went to turn it on. And the, the old green light lights up and starts flashing, which indicates that it's heating, but it, uh, it no, no heat no more. So, uh, yeah, which leads me to this video. We're going to gut this thing and see if we can figure out why, why it no work. So, uh, let's flip the camera down and get to gutting. So, you can see it here, up close and personal, like, it, it, it's very, very lightly used, to say the least, I mean, considering that this is our work tool, so there's no grubby fingerprints all over it. The tip isn't overheated. It's the original tip. The nose on the thing isn't all cooked like when people leave these things running for too long and they and they overheat. I'm kind of alluding to what I think's wrong with it. But, uh, yeah, it's basically turn the thing on. It gives you the battery indication on it. It starts flashing green again, which, which indicates it's heating up and uh, it doesn't heat up. I've tried four different M12 batteries on it and it's just not doing it. So, uh, yeah, I say we get into it. All right, well, I'm guessing, to say the very least, that's got to come off. You know, this thing unscrews again, no melting as far as that goes. And then we got ourselves a little clip of doodle down there. Let's see if we can get that out. Uh, let's try it with the, the cheap Pittsburgh clip set that I did put in my van. All right, that comes out nice and easy. It looks like we got a bunch of Torx screws. Come over here. Let's grab a random one. That is a nine, T9. I think we could do better. T10? Yes, T10. Alright, I don't know if that's supposed to bend like that. Let's have at these screws. And we got a super secret screw right there. Do we? Yep, we do. Well, at least all the screws are the right are the same size. All right, let's pop this apart. Oh, there we go. That's that part. And come on, turn me loose. No. The LED. There we go. All right, let's kind of poke around in here. I'm looking for some kind of some kind of fuse of some sort. Let's cut that wire tie. Nope, nothing in there. Oh, what we got here? Oh, oh, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. So let's cut this heat shrink back here so we can get something to, uh, unless we can get it back here. Nah, it'd be easier to do it here. Yeah, let's cut the heat shrink back so we can check that fuse. Yeah, there's enough there to test it. A little bit of, a little bit of brass showing there. Get the multimeter. Constantuity. 
Yeah, let's see if we get a beepy beep on the fuse. And we're getting something. It definitely ain't continuity. I think that might be the problem. That their uh, fuse went on me. That one surefire way to test it for sure. Let's put a smoke tester in line there and bypass it. Okay, that should be good enough. Got to get the battery over here. And then see if we can turn it on. That just flew out of freaking <laughs> out of nowhere. There we go. Oh, she's getting hot. That was definitely an issue. All right, that's cool enough to handle now. Um, yeah, that's that's what happened. The thermal little thermal fuse down here uh, cooked itself. Which, considering its proximity to the heating element bad design you be the judge i don't know um what do you say we we do some you know a, a little bit of don't try this at home kids and uh see what we could do with this thing so let's start off by getting rid of this busted thing and uh yeah peel that off and we'll do something a little silly here all right we're we're all set up. I got my soldering iron at a third of the price that I actually I actually prefer that runs on DeWalt batteries, ironically enough. And uh, yeah, so we got some heat shrink down here. We're gonna take that. Let's nip that a little bit shorter. That'll cover our uh, replacement fuse. The thing, the thing is with that, that thermal fuse that you, you need to understand is that that's what keeps this thing from going Chernobyl on you and, and, and completely completely melting down. So uh, yeah, it's probably probably a good idea not to do this. And uh, at some point in time, I'll replace it with the real fuse if I ever get motivated to. But being that I don't ever use this, I'm just kind of wanting to see it work again. So let's get that. A little bit of... A little bit of flux, some solder, we'll tin the wires, this aluminum wire really doesn't like taking the solder does it, as I say that it takes it over here, we'll tin this end here, now we'll tin our replacement fuse, problem too with these, these thermal fuses here, um, <clears throat> you, you can't solder them because they're thermal and they'll blow when you solder them so you got to crimp them in take this we attach it over here that's good all right take this guy down here all right now i gotta shrink the heat shrink um i cut it a little short but this is only temporary, so I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to call that good enough. All right, there you go. That is one dangerous uh, soldering iron. <laughs> Ready to give it a whirl. Um, I, I did notice, too, a little thing that flew off was the, uh, the little catch spring on the trigger. So we're, we're going 100% we're going unsafe on this thing. So let's, uh, let's slap it back together and, and see if we fixed it. Well, well, we got it half together. Let's see if it'll fire up. The light's breaking. We were doing that before. And, uh, it's getting warm. All right, let's put the screws in. Well, let's see if it'll, if it'll still melt solder. See, it's flashing. I'll give it a minute to, uh, to warm up. All right, it's up to full temperature. Will it melt solder? Yes, it will. No problem whatsoever. Nice. 
shut this thing off. All right, well, while, while it, it cools down, that real little red light means it's in cool down mode. Um, I, I want to say, like I said, don't, don't do this at home. This is just me trying to make it work for a video. Um, if you do do this, uh, uh, the only thing that's keeping this thing from turning itself into a molten chunk of plastic and fire is this little fuse you got right here which is as far as i'm concerned uh poor design because like i said i haven't used this very much at all and um yeah it's it's already done it's out of warranty too it's over three years old so i think that means it's the warranties kaputs on it and uh yeah i don't care because uh, i'm always using this cheapo one that i did a video on a long time ago which works fine and form factor is nicer because it's a pencil instead of a big black and red dung so uh yeah let, let's close it out so there we go that is the m12 soldering iron disappointment to say the very least um yeah like i said i i i would tell you if i used and abused this thing and there's no reason for that fuse to blow i literally would use this thing touch touch two wires together shut it off and put it off to the side until it cooled down so i don't know what would cause that fuse to blow maybe it's a Maybe it's a common thing that happens with these, but um, yeah, so I mean, some point in time, if I get motivated enough, I'll buy the correct fuse and the crimps and, and crimp it back in there. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> in all honesty, I'm probably just going to throw this in a drawer and never use it again. But uh, yeah, so I mean, that's about it. Like I said, if you had the same uh, similar um, situations with this where it just was doing what I was doing. Let me know in the comments. That might be a, a common thing with these things. I don't know. I haven't looked it up. I just figured let's see what we could find. And yeah, disappointment is what we found. So, uh, yeah, that's about it for this video. Uh, any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down in the old comments section. Don't try this at home. Uh, I'd like to thank you for watching. There you go.